I am trying so hard right now not to go crazy, but I am losing my mind right now just constantly refreshing Twitter because Halo Infinite's first preview is supposed to happen literally any second now. Earlier this week, they announced that they'd be doing their very first flighting preview of Halo Infinite, which we have all been waiting for for like the last, what, seven years now for the next Halo, which fingers crossed, this one is supposed to actually go back to its old school roots and just be like one of the most amazing games of all time. And of course there have been some delays. So I'm just sitting around waiting for whenever it goes live. So I think in the meantime, let's try to be maybe productive with our time of waiting around and uh, probably go practice some Apex. So uh, let's do that to distract ourselves while we just constantly refresh Twitter on the side. Okay, so it is about 8 p.m. right now and the codes for the preview just went out to everyone and I am about a third of the way done downloading it on Steam. Took me a while to actually get into the website and get my code and all that good stuff. But in the meantime, while we wait, I've been watching Snipe Down, who is a current Apex Pro, but before Apex, he was a Halo Pro. Been following this dude forever, he's super, super awesome. And he is popping off right now on Twitch, and it looks good so far. I'm really excited to try it, but I'm gonna go get this installed right now and get it set up, and it'll be time to stream. Well, so a bit of a change in plans. I did get Halo fired up. It's a little bit of a buggy mess, and that's kind of expected because, well, it's like an early build and it's an early preview. There's gonna be some hiccups. But the problem that I am having with going live and streaming is that I cannot get Halo to show up in my streaming program OBS so then I can stream it to you guys. So yeah, I'm going to try to have to figure this situation out before at least tomorrow morning so I can go live at my regular time. So uh, at least I don't have to throw off my whole sleep schedule and I can continue to be a morning streamer. But yeah, fingers crossed I can get this figured out, but I'll check in with you guys in the morning. pre-ordered Halo 3 would probably recognize this box, but at the time, way back when, gosh, I sound like a boomer saying this, but Halo 2 was probably my all-time favorite video game ever made. Just like the campaign alone was so amazing, but then it just, it truly sparked such a good period of online gaming. So when they announced Halo 3, Halo 3 was like the peak most hyped thing in gaming history ever. Everyone was so incredibly excited to get their hands on Halo 3. I remember playing Halo 3 for the first time and just having my mind blown. Like it was so unreal just to like take in the insane graphics at the time, all the improvements they've made from Halo 2. Like it was just such a magical experience. That's like the best way I could describe it. But yeah, I thought I'd bring this out because uh, this is some great memorabilia for those of you who pre-ordered Halo 3. I even still have the sticker for when I went to go get this game at midnight at a GameStop. 9-25-2007 says do not open till then on the sticker. I don't know if you could read that, but yeah. Super, super weird to think that Halo 3 came out in 2007, such a long time ago. But inside the box was an awesome helmet of Master Chief. And as a kid, I always wanted to stick my head in this, even though obviously it's a tiny rectangle. 
Head doesn't even come close to fitting, but OGs have this helmet still somewhere, probably sitting in their room. I wish I had somewhere in my room to like have this on display 24 seven, but maybe in my next place. Anyways, the point of me showing you all that is just to show you guys my love of Halo and I have been a diehard Halo fan for a very, very long time. Halo 1 through Halo 3 were like some of the best times in gaming that I will always cherish. And now we finally have Halo Infinite. It is here and I just had a few hours to play test it and I have opinions. The very first thing that I notice is, yes, it is a preview. It's a very early build from a few months ago and it is incredibly unoptimized. It's a stuttery mess and it's just, it did not feel good. It was not a good first impression in that regard. That said, they're gonna clean that stuff up and so I really tried to look past it even though it was kind of difficult for me. In general, in terms of the gameplay, I gotta say, my first couple of matches, I was really disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. For a game coming out in 2021, I would expect a game to not really feel too clunky, especially by a major game studio, like 343. And that's kind of like my first impressions of Halo Infinite was, it felt just a little clunky and heavy. I wasn't really blown away by anything. Like it felt like a much improved Halo, especially from the last couple of ones. I was absolutely enjoying myself, but I didn't have that Halo 3 moment of where my mind was just blown. But a funny thing happened, the more and more that I continued to play game after game, the more I started to like click with it and I started to enjoy it even more and even more and even more. And by the end of it, I'm like, you know what? This is actually like, it's going to be a really good game. There is no denying it. Halo Infinite is going to be awesome. I can tell it's definitely gonna be one of the best Halos they've made since, well, probably Halo 3. That said, I still have really, really high hopes for this game. Regardless, I'm sure I'm gonna be playing it for a few months at least, if not longer, because at the end of the day, it is a solid game. Unfortunately though, it just didn't blow my mind. It is now Sunday night and I am getting ready to stream the last night. That is the preview of Halo Infinite. Throughout the weekend, they have added a few more maps and they put out an update that helped a lot with the stuttering on PC. So it feels a little less clunky. It's still not as quite as smooth as something like Apex, but it's definitely a lot more enjoyable. And again, the more and more I play it, the more I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, I gotta get ready for the stream, but if you guys wanna watch some of the highlights from the stream, I've been posting a lot over on my TikTok lately, and my first Halo TikTok did pretty dang well for me, so I'll continue to post a few more clips from probably the stream tonight that I'm gonna get, so if you guys haven't followed me over on TikTok yet, be sure to do so. But yeah, that is gonna wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate it. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.